Hello everyone, in this video we'll be using Perception for our series. So here we are back in our scene and I know we only recently set up our uh, workaround system for Perception um, and now Perception is out. Uh, it's been a short while since I've done a, a video in the series simply because, you know, to be honest, I was a bit too busy. Um, so we're going to be replacing our view cone. Um, we're also going to make a, a, a slight adjustment to how uh, walking around works because right now there's actually uh, an issue with it basically that even if you spot if the character spots the player he'll still do um, move to the next marker before actually initiating so small oversight there which we'll fix as well so first things first um, let's just get rid of uh, the view cone we set up uh, really that simple and we're going to set up our perception and there we go so um, by default, um, it has all of these things. So I'm going to remove smell um, here. We're not going to set that up yet, uh, simply because there's a bit more to it. You can't just um, set it up just like that um, because you need to uh, adjust the animations a bit as well for the footsteps. Um, well, basically add some curves to it. So we're going to keep it simple. This will be a short one where we're just going to do um, sight uh, for now. Um, and um, we can do uh, feel as well. So feel will be in there too, um, but not here yet. So I'm going to remove that just to avoid any uh, any confusion there. So can't forget, we'll, uh, we'll turn that on. Um, we'll release that, um, reduce that a bit. So let's do decimal. Perfect. Um, yeah, that, that's a bit long. And then uh, delay um, will uh, will increase that uh, a bit. There we go. So um, again, don't have to do this. Uh, this is you can set this all up yourself. So when it comes to sight, um, it's actually really simple. It's just really straightforward. It's not that much to it. Um, so we have. Uh, two um, two view cones. So basically this is peripheral. So peripheral has a slow buildup of awareness, um, which in play mode you'll see here, which is a, uh, a value that will come in. So it has a short value for um, uh, a short buildup. Um, so it takes quite a while. And then the primary, which is the darker area, um, which is where the buildup will be really fast. Now that's pretty close, so it makes sense that it goes really fast. Um, so yeah, you can increase this, the peripheral radius if you want. So we can set it to three, for example, um, which is uh, perfectly fine actually, um, 2.5, whatever you want it to be, mess around, see what values work for you. Just remember, this is not real life, this is a video game. So if you are going to be using uh, systems like this and you want some stealth into it, it shouldn't be too fast. Um, so yeah, don't make don't make it too big. So obviously in real life you see a lot further uh, But this is still a video game, but that's up to you. You know, it's uh, do what you want with that um, So next up um, What we're going to do is we're actually going to make a, a small change um, To the patrol so we're going to get started with that first. So let's go over to our enemy Um and yeah, this is the way it was set up. So we had the bulls for seeing, we can leave them for now, we'll, uh, we'll get to that. Um, but what we want to do is uh, basically get rid of uh, this in this spot. So I'm going to create a new uh, action. We'll call that patrol. There we go. We're going to copy this over and paste it here. And that's it. Then next up, we're going to get rid of this and we're going to do uh, run actions and um, we're going to do um, self no not self sorry uh, behavior parameter and we'll call them patrol there we go um, so let's add that to our blackboard so patrol there we go um, we need a um, no it's a reference sorry there we go and then on our soldier, we're going to drag this in. And um, at first, it doesn't seem like a big difference, 
Um, however, uh, what we can do now is where we have, um, oh, sorry, it still left it there. Um, so where we had a stop self movement, we're going to um, do stop um, actions. There we go. And we're going to reference to, uh, to those actions. And there we go, patrol. Now, the reason for this is that simply doing stop move, self movement um, won't be enough. So it won't actually stop um, because this has weight. Um, where is it? Um, weight to arrive. If you don't have weight to arrive though, the animation is gonna look all choppy. It's just gonna look weird because he's never actually going to get to that point or he's just going to keep switching between uh, targets way too fast. Um, but we can't just stop unless I miss something. Uh, we can't just stop like another task immediately like that, which is why we have this little extra step. Small amount of effort, um, but at least now um, when we're on site, it will actually stop the patrol straight away. So that's good. Um, make sure cancel is, um, um, you know, is optional. So next up, um, we have uh, these, uh, these bulls. Um, right now, which will uh, do our foreseen, etc. So let's get rid of that bull because we no longer need it. Um, and we can get rid of it here as well. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to change this to awareness. So just want to be absolutely clear. So th there is a couple of options here. So when we go to perception, um, we can do, just do C and then can see yes or no. Really straightforward, really simple which basically functions like the bull did, um, you know, it's, it's pretty much the same. However, um, we have awareness. So basically the soldier will build up awareness until value one, um, depending on where you are. So if you just do can, on can see, you'll enter here, he will go in combat mode. With awareness, it will build up to a value and then you will go into the mode. I think that's much better. It's one of the big improvements of perception. Um, so uh, yeah, we're definitely going to do it like that. So that does mean um, we need to do uh, awareness instead. So compare awareness um, and then here we do self and um, target is the player. And then uh, for the comparison, uh, we'll do less. And I'm going to do zero point uh, 0.6 reason for that is we can add a little middle stop and there's a lot more you can do with that but it's just to show that there you know there's some advantages to having awareness so here we're going to do uh, a task so um, if um, we can just copy this over copy there we go if awareness is um, greater or equal to 0 0.6. Um, we're going to copy over a couple of things. So we're going to copy over stop self movement. There we go. We're going to copy over uh, stop self patrol. And um, then he's actually going to be doing uh, something really simple. Um, he's just going to rotate. So basically look towards um, look towards uh, the the player so self and then facing uh, targets look at target and that's the player so he's not going to do anything yet he's just going to look around like hey there's something there you know you have this thing yourself you think you saw something you're just looking around is there something there so that's what's going to happen if you were able to hide in that meantime he looks around, awareness is going to drop below that value again, and he's just going to continue with his life and patrol around. So it's a little extra step. And then here, we're going to remove this. And then uh, if it's equal uh, to one, then uh, basically, yeah, you know, that's the same as like, okay, now I've seen you. If it's equal to one, I've seen you, and we're going to go into our combat mode. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty straightforward, uh, makes a lot of sense. Now there is one extra step. So on start, um, he also needs to track the player. So 
um, we can just add that here um, so here we have the prep and then we can just do uh, track track awareness there we go um, self and player and perfect and we'll see that as well we'll see a little uh, tracker uh, doesn't do anything other than keep the player in mind um, which is what you want um, and yeah that's that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it so let's give this a go let's try this out so leaving this on so th this white line you're seeing that's the tracking basically and um, this on the soldier is the awareness rating so okay I'm going to oh that was <laughs> going to go through um, so it's not working um, because we still have uh, luminance turned on so we need to turn that off uh, for now because um, we're not working with a general light system um, this is still an open scene and that's something we need to start using once we actually get to the point um, where we have indoors and things like that um, you know hindering our sight so for now um, luminance is going to be turned off um, and it will work just fine so we don't need this trigger um, it will all just work well so um, that's pretty much it now feel is turned on by default um, so feel will um, that's this little extra sphere we have here so uh, you'll even see something else but it's really this this close one uh, around the character and uh, the bluish one purple whatever color it is um, and that's the one that um, does feel so basically uh, bump into the character and uh, you know he'll uh, he'll be triggered and yeah let's just leave this to uh, to one cool so um, let's hit play mode and let's see if um, we can actually now uh, see the awareness build up um, obviously we need to touch him that's one thing um, but um, we uh, we should be sure that um, you know the peripheral vision is working this time and it's slowly building up so what I'm going to try to do, um, let's see where he goes to next. That's quite far, perfect. So we're staying in the peripheral. So basically kind of trailing him. And then there we go, we reach the 0 0.6 where he turns around towards us. And then uh, he's going into his uh, combat mode. And that's, that's it. So of course there's a lot more you can do with this if you already wanna add uh, things like uh, hair, etc. Please go aware. If you want to see, you know, this in action, um, add this one indicator. So just look up indicator, uh, and that's awareness. Um, you can change the look and feel, of course, but you don't need to do anything else. It's about awareness for uh, in general. So it just says target player. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it's a small UI, UI element, but by default, you won't really see anything. Um, you only need to one even have you if you have multiple enemies and it will basically there we go um, you'll visually see and that's obviously something you need in games anyway you'll see once awareness builds up and then if it's uh, there we go if it's red then you know he'll uh, he'll go into combat mode um, really cool, really simple way of seeing it. Um, change the look and feel because obviously it's just a UI prefab, um, so you can uh, you can change uh, you can change uh, the way it looks. But yeah, really nice stuff. Um, you know, this is the awareness item um, which you can change. Um, the default look is quite cool. Prefer a circle one, for example, instead. Um, and so you know, you just uh, just change the uh, change the. Uh, the image to uh, a circle one but yeah um, that's it for this video like I said I'm keeping it really short and um, just to show you how to uh, um, basically change the default uh, vision cone we set up in the last video but also um, how to um, you know fix that really annoying little thing where he would always finish his 
uh, finish his routine. Uh, so now he won't actually, um, you know, walk to the next point. Um, if we're uh, if we're in, if he's going to see us properly, um, he's gonna go in combat mode straight away. Like it should work. Um, not really sure if I've shown that. So let's uh, let's get to that real fast. There we go. He won't finish, and he'll just go into combat mode, um, which is how it should be. Um, by the way, uh, you saw the player not really reacting to his uh, impact. Uh, that's another little thing I actually wanted to address. Um, so it's because we don't have a default reaction. Um, so we are going to simply go to our uh, setup, sword and shield. And then we have uh, self hit reaction, just drop that in. And then he'll react even if you're not in combat mode, you don't have your uh, sword uh, drawn. So yeah, that's it. Um, again, if you want to add here, um, that's a, a slightly bigger step. Um, I, I will address it, but basically you need to uh, make some changes if you have custom animations. If you don't have custom animations, you just use the game creator ones. Um, it's pretty much drag and drop, just check the example. There's really not that much to it, which is the whole strength of this module. It's really simple. Um, but if you do have custom animations, which I think pretty much everyone will have, and uh, there's a tiny bit more to it. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.